Hi, I'm Kathy Thomas. Joining me today will be the executive chef at the Salt Greek Grill in Dana Point, Scott Green. Scott's going to share the secrets for his delicious mahi-mahi. Scott, the glaze you put on your mahi-mahi is so delicious. Tell me a little bit about it. It is delicious. It's a reduction of citrus juice. Uh, we've got some aromatics in there as well. Uh, a little bit of sugar. It's got some great, vibrant, light flavors. So we're going to start with the glaze. Let's start with the glaze. First thing we're going to do is we're going to have a saucepan. We're going to add some orange juice and some granulated sugar. We're going to whisk this together slightly. And we're going to make what's called a sachet. And this is a great way to impart flavor into your sauce mm -hmm. without having to then go ahead and strain everything out. Right. What we're going to do with the lemongrass is to slightly bruise this. And this what this is going to do is release all the oil and the flavor inside of the lemongrass here. We also have some ginger here. We have a few pieces of fresh rosemary. Right. We also have some sliced shallots and a crushed piece of garlic clove. We just want to fold this together and kind of make a little bundle. But we then wrap around and just tie a knot. So we're going to reduce this by half and add the sachet to the mix. Remove it from the heat and allow that to steep for 45 minutes. In the restaurant, what we use is a mesquite wood grill. Mm -hmm. But at home, you're welcome to use a griddle pan and you can achieve a similar result. Beautiful piece of mahi-mahi. A little bit of salt, fresh ground pepper. So we need to make sure that we have a nice hot pan so we can get a good sear on this. What I'm going to do is just put a little bit of oil over the top of the fish here. We're going to go ahead and finish the glaze so we can okay. start by removing the bouquet. This is our liquid pectin. Just before it's finished cooking, we're just going to paint a little bit of the citrus glaze on here. And we're going to make a quick saute with some kale. Add a little bit of oil into the pan. I start with adding just a tiny pinch of garlic. So now we're going to add some kale. I added a little bit of salt and pepper. These are orange segments that we're just going to warm through, as well as a few cherry tomatoes. So what we've done here is we've taken a couple of avocados and we've added them to a blender with a little mm -hmm. bit of water, lime juice, shallots, garlic, and salt. Any chilies going there, Chef? A little bit of jalapeno. Okay. And I like to make a dot of the avocado mousse and then just kind of bring it across the plate just like that. And we've got our kale. And the glaze just shimmers on top of that fish. Just a little bit of this citrus glaze. We're going to look to drizzle that just around the plate. That's just beautiful, Chef. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. It's my pleasure, Kathy. Thank you. Here's a quick tip from Melissa's. Chopped salads are so delicious. Here's a way to make them portable. Put them in a pita. So we're starting out with a little vinaigrette. And in here I've got equal parts olive oil and fresh lime juice, a little honey, salt and pepper, and a little bit of chopped basil or chopped mint. So just going to give that a quick whisk and then a taste. It's very good. I think it needs a little salt and a little pepper. We want to put in some avocado. I want to cut it into dice, so I'm going to make crisscross cuts one direction and then the other direction, and then just dig that out. I'm going to put in chunks of cucumber, and this is hot house or English cucumber. We've got some diced tomato, some sliced pitted green olives, and then some lovely pepper jack cheese. Just coat everything nicely with that delicious vinaigrette. I've got a heart of romaine here, and I'm just going to cut it into crosswise ribbons. A rough chop in the other direction, in that goes, and then a nice toss into the pita. Portable chop salad. The fruit and vegetable aisles are filled with so much potential. Try something new. Have an adventure.